In this video, I will tell you about two prominent I.O. related weights. But to understand about sequential read I.O. weight or scattered read I.O. weight, let's first understand what is the meaning of these two types of I.O. First, let's look at sequential read. Now, to understand this, let us assume we have a table with us, which I will represent by this diagram. So I will call it as a table. And let's say we have an index on one of these columns, which could be used for the purpose of lookup. And I will call it as an index. Let's say this is the employee table and the index is made on the salary column. Now there are two ways in which this data in the table can be queried. Number one is where I write a query which looks like this. Select star from employees where salary equal to 1000 and I have an index on the salary column and it is not mandatory just because there is an index that this index would be used. That's up to the optimizer. But if the optimizer decides to use the index, what it is going to do is first go through the index tree, go to the leaf blocks where it can identify that a value of 1000 would be present. That will result in probably one or block more blocks in the index to be read. And corresponding to the entries that are found in the index blocks, it would have to read the rows from the table. This is what an index lookup would look like. So the query would first have to read the index blocks, then go to the table and fetch the corresponding rows based on the row IDs it found in the index blocks for those salaries which have 1000. This goes through what is called as a sequential read. Now what is a sequential read? It's pretty simple. It has to do the IO block by block. It has to fetch one block from the index and then it looks up into the row IDs of the rows that satisfy the condition. Then based on the row ID, it looks up into the blocks of the table based on the row IDs it got. So basically what it is going to do is pick a block from the index, get the row IDs, go to the table and in the table the rows might be spread across different blocks. So it has to fetch them one block at a time. This is what is a sequential read. On the other hand, if the same query, in spite of the fact that I have got salary equal to 1000, the optimizer decided to do a full scan of the table, then it would not go and read the index at all. It will result in reading all the blocks in the table. This results in multi-block I.O. happening. But the interesting thing is it says it's scattered read. It's actually not a scattered read. The read is for contiguous blocks in the table. But once the data is read in the disk, it is scattered across the buffer cache. So that's why it is called as a scattered read. The name is a little bit of confusion because we think that it is going to read in a scattered manner. No, it reads it contiguously. Basically, it reads multiple blocks, but it results in scattering them in the buffer cache. Now, this is how IO happens. But remember, the data is going to be fetched and put into the buffer cache. So if I'm doing an index space lookup and the index blocks and the table blocks are not available in the SGA, which is what I represent here. Now, IO has to happen to fetch the blocks and then fetch the blocks from here. And the IO is going to be an OS dependent operation. If the Oracle database instance is waiting for this IO to happen, which is unique blocks to be read one after the other, it results in calling it as a wait for 
sequential I.O. On the other hand, if I'm doing a full table scan, typically it will result in scattered read wherein the data has to be fetched from the table or index. It can be an index full scan also, but multiple blocks to be read and put into the SGA. Depending on the kind of activity that is happening, the weight event is going to be different. But please note, just because there is I.O. happening, it is not necessary that there is a problem with the SQL. It could be a case where my I.O. subsystem itself is slow, or it could mean that I have a very small sized SGA, so I'm not able to cache my data, so I'm repeatedly doing I.O. Or it could be that I have not cached specific tables with respect to the option at a table level wherein frequently read data can be kept in the memory, wherein if another query comes, I don't push it out of the SGA. So there are various resolutions that we can do. That finally depends on the situation of the problem based on which you decide how to reduce that weight. Just because you see an IO weight does not necessarily mean it is a IO problem because the storage is a problem or a query is a problem. You need to look at the situation specifically and then figure out how do you fix that.